EasyBase provides many different ways to add bass lines to your songs. In this video, I'll show you how to use EasyKey's chord progressions to create an accompanying bass line through its seamless integration with the EasyBase song track. Here I have a chord progression that I created in EasyKey's with the Cinematic Pads library. If I want to create a corresponding bass line, I can simply drag this to the chord layer of the song track to reproduce all of the chord changes in the file. Now with the chord changes on the song track in Easy Bass, I can use the Replace MIDI function to use any playing style in the library with my chord progression. Once I found one that I like, I can click Save Changes and the MIDI is then written to the song track. Now I could add fills, transitions, change the damping, and so on. Remember that any MIDI that you drag under your chords will conform to those chord changes. So dragging in fills is really easy. Just find one that fits the rhythm and edit its length if you need to and drag it under the chord. They don't even have to be dedicated fills. They can be any MIDI file that fits the rhythm that you want. Like in this example, I'll use part of a different MIDI file from the library to change up the rhythm for the 10th bar. Next, I'll add a simple transition to the end of the fill to give it a bit more groove. And I can do that by selecting the MIDI region and then choosing a transition from the transition editor. Finally, I'll add some ghost notes after the percussive mutes. I'm going to do this by option clicking and dragging the ghost notes one sixteenth note after the percussive mute. Here's what that sounds like. And here it is with the drums and the Easy Keys cinematic pads. Thanks for watching, and remember to start your free 10 day trial of Easy Bass and download demos of Easy Drummer 2, Easy Keys, and Easy Mix 2 on Toontrack.com.